everybody and welcome back to another mod review today we're going to take a look at the merit super b trailer pack this mod can be found over custom modding's facebook page and there will be a link in the description below as you see this uh this mod is an ab trailer set both belly dump and there are some really cool aspects to this mod that i want to talk about today first off uh, the trailer pack includes both the front and rear trailer and they are separatable um, so you could just run the rear trailer as a single or you could hook up the front and do an AB double um, the trailer pack also includes four separate bill planes uh, so you can have up to four different items in this trailer or any combination thereof between one crop and four crops uh, we have a colorable body where we can change the color from white to black we have several different colors that we can put on the uh, the top cover and we have a capacity of a whopping 80,000 plus liters of, of product Let's take a closer look at this uh, let's first turn on the headlights because this thing does have some nice running lights to it Got running lights down the side. Really nice logoing there. When you do dump, these uh, do animate. And we do have uh, hoses attaching the front and rear trailers. It's clipping through the diamond plate there a little bit, but still, that's pretty cool. I do wish the uh, hoses would hook up to the front of the trucks or to the rear of the trucks. Um, but that is, I think, just a Giants thing, where those, uh, those hoses just don't hook up. We've got really great details down here at the hubs and axles. Brake lights on the rear of the uh, A-trailer. Alright, well let's go ahead and take a look at this thing in the shop go to our trailers and we go all the way over here see here we have the Merit Super B trailer $69,000 and it has a capacity of 60,000 or 80,568 liters now let's compare that to the pace setter the Wilson pace setter it only has a capacity of 60,000 and it's $80,000 uh, let's take a look at the load king it also has a capacity of just 56,000 liters and is $74,000. So this is quite the uh, quite the bargain. Let's take a look at it in the uh, shop here. See we've got our A and B's already hooked up and we can change the main color from white to black and it changes the uh, sides there. And then we can change the design color um, to all different types and it changes the top cover it's an orange one it's purple shade kind of a brown greenish tan color deep red Okay. And let's just go ahead and uh, let's take a look at the lease cost too while we're at it. So to lease this combination, it's let's get this down here back to the. I don't need to be uh, looking at the lease prices with customizations. So a base cost of thirteen eighty, uh, thirty four hundred and fifty dollars to lease per hour and six hundred ninety dollars per day. So the initial lease cost is fifty five hundred and twenty dollars. Not a bad deal when you figure out that uh, really the only time you're going to be billed for this as far as operating hours is when it's hooked up. So when it's actually hauling grain, uh, if you use this to basically haul your grain from the shop or from your farm to the uh, back, to, you know, to the sell point, you're not going to be racking up very many hours on this and therefore it's going to be a pretty good bargain. Here we are in black. 
red cover. Now we're going on. Oops. So let's go ahead and use our semi here because I want to show you how we can hook up or we can unhook these and basically just run the rear one if we want to. Toggle to the rear and unhook. Now we are running independent trailers. And we can come over here and just hook up the rear. So I can tell you when these two are loaded down with crop, it is a heavy load um, for sure. Now we're running the rears. And the distinction with the rear trailer is both compartments are equal in size, uh, whereas the front two compartments are not equal in size. They are uh, are different capacities. And hooking up is super simple. Pull up in here. There we are. Now we're hooked up. Tile to the front. And let's take a look in the store, or in the garage, so I can show you something. Um, so the trailers are also separate in the garage. So you could sell the front if you want and just keep the back. Makes the price of the trailer even cheaper. Uh, if all you're ever going to want is to run the rear. And the capacity of the rear is 40,434 liters. The capacity of the front is a combined 40,134 liters. And while the shop didn't show the fill types, you can see the fill types here in our garage. Basically, all of our standard crops um, that you basically would harvest with a harvester, uh, a combine. So we've got wheat, barley, oat canola, sunflower, soybean, corn, and it also will hold seed and fertilizer in those compartments. So, run over here, and I've got a couple trailers already set up, both here and at the uh, train silo, or train station. And I specifically wanted to all this up to the train station to show you that this thing has quite a load to it and it's it's taking a little bit to, uh, to get going here see how well the rear trailer is tracking with respect to the, uh, the front and let's take a look let's open the covers here You can see in the front here, we've got corn and soybeans. We've got soybeans in the very front section. It has a capacity of 22,217 liters. The back section of the front trailer has a capacity of 17,917 liters. And then the front and back section of the B trailer are equal. Uh, they both hold a capacity of 20,217 liters. We're going up this hill, got the throttle all the way down, and the best we can muster is like 18 miles an hour. This thing is heavy. Uh, you don't want to have an underpowered truck uh, pulling this thing when it's fully loaded with crop. It's going to go up here to this station because uh, I wanted to show you the Basically, unloading this, if you're going to unload this at a uh, either a cell point or at a transfer station like we have up here at, uh, at this particular area. And then I also have one set up to fill uh, from the station also. It's just in here. See, here we've got the white one um, with the custom, with the standard black uh, cover. Then over here we've got a black one with a black cover. See, 
see we've got our four different props. We've got canola in the rear container. Okay. That. And then we've got sunflowers in the container just in front of that. We've got our oats and our barley. So what we're going to do is we're going to toggle to the front. And you can see that we have a U, tip side front and tip side back. It's basically saying the front compartment or the back compartment or tip side front. All right, so we're going to go I. So the handle doesn't animate, but we do see the little sliding plate going on. Then we're going to U to the rear and then Open that. Empties out pretty nice. We're going to toggle to the back. Tip side front. These are sunflowers. And then toggle to the back. Alright, let's go ahead and just park this over here and come on over here to this trailer and we're going to fill this bad boy all the way up. I've already filled the uh, silo here with, with wheat, 80,568 liters of wheat. See the other crops that we just dumped in. So these trailers are, might be kind of a, a love it or hate it type relationship, depending on the person. Uh, because, you know, if you don't like the fact that you've got to fill each trailer compartment on its own, then you're probably not going to like these types of trailers. Um, that's the Wilson. Blood King is also like this in game. But if you are somebody that really likes and has been wanting the ability to um, haul multiple crops, maybe you don't have uh, a whole lot of each crop, but you've got four different crops that you want to sell, well, you can do that easily by basically uh, having a pair, you know, having a set of these, and uh, you can fill up four separate crops, or you can fill them all up with one whole crop. There we are on our red lights and we're now full and like I said this thing is heavy and it is full definitely definitely tell you've got some weight back there you're trying to take off so guys I hope you liked this video if you did please go ahead and click that like button that'd be super awesome if you're not a subscriber, please go ahead and subscribe. We, uh, we do mod videos pretty regularly through the week, as well as how-to videos, and we do a Let's Play series on Fellsburn every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Got a great demand at the restaurant. That's what it's for. It's not for wheat. At any rate... Again, if you like this uh, mod, let me know in the comments what you think of the mod. And uh, head on over to Custom Modding's Facebook, and you'll find a Dropbox link, Dropbox link uh, to the Merit Super B Trailer Pack. Until next time, guys. Happy farming.